and good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Alan Cook, the proud owner of the Medeon. That's all marked up for you to see of how this diary so happens to be the same as the Mona Lisa. I have a lot of YouTubes, and if you were to explore and learn and try to understand my teaching I'm trying to get better I promise I put a lot of a lot of effort in, and I hope you think so but let me continue here to let you know that this painting is like a TV a flip book uh, uh, that they used to have where you flip the pages and the um, images moved in this depth of his painting is the same no matter what size to um, uh, what angle front or back I hadn't even nicked the back yet and there are trillions of images in there that make a 8k television screen seem like it was <laughs> a dull flashlight Okay, my dad used to be a TV repairman, so I learned how to try to figure out the way things are to get the best. Well, there's some images out there that I want to let you know that I'm going to be bringing out because what they've done is they manipulated the pictures uh, from years ago uh, uh, when the internet came out so they can not let you know what's hidden in Leonardo da Vinci's works. So what did I do? I did my private investigation. So in the future there's going to be a lot of paintings, pictures in which are the same. Now I'm uh, that uh, are going to show identical images. I've been pulling them out as of yesterday. I went into my ar I archives to show you. Now this doggy picture on the right actually I circled it you can see my man's face and see how he is in both hmm what do you think I know it's real difficult but I'm gonna slide it over a little bit to make it easier for you I'll put it in vice versa let me let me see if I can get this a little closer because sometimes it's the angle shot and that's what sometimes happens here is that you end up with a uh, image that ends up cut wrong on a screen and maybe that helped a little huh did it lighten it up for you I think it did do I get a brownie button I could use it a trophy my mom says I give you a trophy thank God she's 86 gonna be 87 in November November 23rd oh Somebody I know has a birthday November 23rd. Cute little girl. Okay, well, here we go. That is one of the images that's in the Cortex Diary of Leonardo da Vinci. I call it the Woof Woof Doggy. And it gets changed. Okay, it is in one of my YouTubes also. But, let me show you that when you end up with... The Salvatore Mundi, right here, excuse me, and you change it so you can see what's hidden in it, you'll end up with this image right here. And that's the out diameter, as you can see, of what he would be. Well, in this corner, you can see part of it, and I'll zoom for you, is the F, which is an F here. And I'm going to show you that F, I hope. Well, it's in black. I don't know if you can see it too well. That's why I changed it, so you can see it better. But let me show you where it's located in mine. Right there. Shows up in mine, the F. So I didn't even have to highlight it on mine. Because I can get different images, and not only that, I have the painting in front of me. Well, when you end up with my painting, and you end up with 
Salvatore Mundi. I call him Salvatore Mundi. Salvatore Mundi. That's what happens when you're Portuguese. You flip the Spanish and the Italian names. Okay, there you go. If you see, there's the F. And you can see the circumference, how I try to use my arthritis hand to get it close. So that is one of Leonardo da Vinci's hidden works within my painting. That's where he's hiding, but not just there. And if you follow my YouTubes, that will explain why. That's because he was a copy machine. And he would repeat his work all over in different places. So when you end up with my painting, and you looking for things, you can convert that painting that's right here. You can convert it to here. And if you take a look also, you can take mine and it, what this is what happens. It turns into a horse. He's riding a horse. See, when you get it a little bit lower, does it not look similar that there's a horse here and then there's a horse here? And he's kind of side saddling, talking to her, okay? Because his images change and build and lighting and uh, uh, shadows and, uh, well, code. And every time you go bigger and you go smaller, the image so happens to be dramatically a huge change in Leonardo da Vinci's masterworks. And so with that, there is not just a painting. You cannot say Leonardo da Vinci painting is just a Mona Lisa and why she follows you across the room. Well, there's that reason. The reason she follows you across the room is because he overlays her so many times, so many, 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 many times that um, she moves across the room. <laughs> I was like, wow, that one was easy. I had to think about it though because I've been really working hard for you guys. And I'm gonna tell you again, the painting on the left is a diary of his entire works of Leonardo da Vinci. And the painting on the right, the Mona Lisa is his greatest beautiful single portrait. The portrait on the left is a duet and it so happens to be of the Mona Lisa when she's older and she's being proposed by Jesus Christ. Now it is also a diary after Leonardo da Vinci passed away. His lover Melzi Francesca took the painting and scheduled appointments for it to be painted in code. Rest in peace. I love you. We miss you. All the great kind things in which we normally sign when we go to a funeral and do a book saying you were there and put your address and such. Well, this was an honor. I have Michelangelo's signature in this painting. I have like 300 of his pupils and associates that's in here. It's like his whole town signed it. And I've, I've made um, a list on uh, a great portion of it. And all you have to do is look in it and then you have to try to break what the Italian words are of these individuals. But it is also in the eye of the Mona Okay, they found a code and it is in the eye. And now remember, the eye of my woman area has this LV and I'm gonna super blow it up and I'm gonna tell you what that means in different ways and a few of the little writings by it. And I know the other codes in which that they have in the internet and I've had it for years, I've broken it. but. When you open it up and you really look at that, you're going to find this is what it reads. This is an L, big L in the whiteness, as you can see. You can see that 
he didn't make this fake, this, this straight line like a board here and here for nothing. But there's breaks in here and there's reasons. But if you also look, there's a V this way. Okay, because he's constantly writing love. This is an O, and I'm gonna, I got it marked off for you with an I and an I and an O's. And this is a V. But if you take a look at the V and how it goes dark green here, there's a lighter green here and a little dot and a little dot and a little dot and then he keeps continuing another E and E and then he makes it out of stars and then he makes it into a big one because he constantly is writing love in his name. And to show you that, there's this image back here that I preset for you. So in this image, there's a couple other things I wanted to show you. And in this is, <clears throat> there's more E's. Okay, and so, and then there's this harmony, which he can also use as a V, as love. And he spells his lover's name. And he does it within S's and eights, because if you put an S this way, and then you put an S this way, you have an eight. But that's in code, because in code, eight stands for infinity. And if you make an eight the right way out of two hearts on top of each other to make it look like an eight, if you look at a license plate, it says, I heart you, you know what it means. I love you. So he has this code that he's making, because the eight stands for infinity, and he's using the heart, and he stands for infinity love. Now the L and the V stands for his initials Leonardo da Vinci. But there's an L, O, V, and E's. And he runs these V's in different colors. Now remember, black is a color. White's a color. And stars connect the dots and you would have it. Here's a harmony turned sideways. It's the Indian symbol like a dream catcher. And he uses that. And he also will use a portion of, of, of something of this sort, not only for a C, but he'll also use it for his portrait of whatever he's doing, and God, God knows, and him. And then he would also use it as the harmony, and he would also use it as probably another 18 other letters that really gets difficult. And that's why I am going bald, I guess. Anyway, because he is difficult. I have broken a lot of his codes, and I, I can do a lot more. I found Salvatore Mundi in my painting. I found it in the Mona Lisa. I've sent that off info for those who wish to know. And this is the eye when it's condensed. Also, I've let you know, here's another harmony sign here. And then he gets into these cartoons. Now, this eye if you take a penny out of your pocket and look at the top of Lincoln's head, that toupee, not the back of his head, that toupee area is the size of my woman's eye. And when you really blow it up out of a 100 megapixel phase one camera, you can see that this is a face of a cartoon looking up. This is another face. This is another face. This is laying sideways with an eye and an eye. These guys, okay, of artists back then are magnificent. Now, they don't look like much to you. Screen shoot this. I'll hold this for a second. Screen shoot it. It doesn't matter if that arrow's stopping it. It bypasses that arrow on YouTube. Thank goodness for technology. But you turn that in any degree, you're gonna find all kinds of animals and creatures and connecting the dots. I mean, obviously there's an eye and an eye and a nose and a, a, a mouth here and a circle, just in this. Now, and, and believe it or not, these little dots that make that little chin or that little nose is other portraits within them. So, and then you got the big one. You got a big eye and a big eye and a big nose and a, and a he continuously does not know how to use a postal piece of paper and just write, call so-and-so. He will fill every ounce of it. And don't forget, this is the bird which I found, which is in one of my YouTubes, the owl. 
and it matches a hundred percent in the Mona a hundred percent overlay and we also have the duck you ought to see that one and then you can see much more but this also here is spelt Leonardo this is in her hairline okay and it, that's in another YouTube so listen there's also another YouTube down there that I need you to hit for a subscribe if you if, if, if I'm lucky that I can get your trust on me trying to give you the information that is hidden within the Mona and the diary of Leonardo da Vinci this is a diary from the moment he picked up a brush when he was a kid at 12 till the day he died at the age of 67 plus it is his cross of his death in the sense of his passing of honor this this was honor of passing it through the great masters in which he taught and he was the master of masters and so listen I don't know anybody smarter I wish I was smart enough to know how I can push that button for you but if it's a broken finger and you can't hit the subscribe button go to the doctor have him put a splint on it and hit the subscribe button so listen i hope i made you happy i hope i satisfied your your uh trust in me um if you uh google me dion passion you'll find out that i uh have been working hard at it and with that i need you guys to say your prayers i need you to social distance wear a mask wash your hands okay and Is the new lost painting of Leonardo da Vinci. I need you guys to uh, keep your beautiful uh, broken fingers splinted so you can keep pushing that subscribe button, thumbs up, and notifications. Keep watching. Now I'm going to show you one of his codes that's in there, and this actually spells out an M, and this is an A, and this is a Y right here. It also comes out. 1519 and May 2nd. Watch. Off here, when I put these two together like this, I'm going to put this over here. You can see the M, the A, the Y. Now the 19 comes upside down. It's written 1519 and that is located 1519 when you flip it because there's the M and the A and and the Y okay so that's another now the two here goes the two the two is in several spots more than several it's in stars a two and he also has another 15 here but there's a one that goes across and then a sideways nine run in. So they put that in code. They also have another two here and another two here. So Leo had these lovers and associates and friends that were um, learning his codes of his secrets. And his secrets that were so well done, that's what it looks like, gibberish. It looks that bad. I spent 10 weeks, sun, uh, 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 10 hours to 12 hours a day, studying this monkey looking tomatoes on the wall. And I was going home with headaches. And then, bam, I realized his M's turn into N's and turns into A's. And you can get out of an M, you can get 20 letters. And not count, that's not counting depth. And if you follow my YouTubes again, as I beg you to, please, that um, you will catch a little bit of my teaching that I'm trying hard to figure out how do you explain the genius. And with that, it's pretty difficult when he hid his love. It's got to do with love because he feared to be caught that he was gay. He feared that, that the world would kill him or in jail him. So what would you do? You'll go super, super code and super deep into your works. And it's kind of like when you love somebody, sometimes you can't tell them.
and you want to. There's many reasons and for that I got to say listen if you can give a thumbs up and subscribe and feel it in my voice and in my heart and my mind and soul is there another word I need to say so may you guys teach a teacher hit the notification for children to uh, be safe through YouTube's censoring and may God bless the whole world universe and heavens and it, it'd be all down below and one more thing a lot of people for some reason don't realize this it costs nothing to subscribe it's free people just make money off you off the commercials and how much you watch you want to watch it all day and night for me if you get me past my my qualifying mark that's a super blessing okay that would be great and not only that I would be working harder and I can afford to do and buy better equipment I'm working out of my garage just like me and you I have scraped to do this for you and I'll keep scraping to do it thumbs up God bless love you all Hope you subscribe. Amen.